Hello everyone. So today I'm going to color grade a documentary video in the Ministry Resolve. So let's get started. So first of all, I will use temperature node here, right here. So as you can see, there is a slight blue here and the sky and here a little bit green. So we will try to fix that. We will drag it a little bit towards right here and put remove orange. somewhat here so we can also use this pen tool to uh, click on any white surface here and correct our color temperature but we did this with these sliders so now let's move on to the next node so next node will be rec 709 let's label it so we will apply color space transform on this node so this footage was shot on in s log 3 with s gamut cine so we will choose in this input color space Sony S gamut and uh, in input gamma we will choose Sony S log 3. Now we will choose X709 and here X709 here. So this is how our footage look like after X709 and now I will create three nodes right here. One. So this will be our contrast. Second node will be saturation. And third node will be look how we want our footage to look like. I connected all of these with Rec 709. So this data will go into each one separately and we will connect it here with parallel mixer and all of the data will be mixed in this parallel mixer here and now into the final output mode so it gives you more like dynamic range and more leverage to color grade your video so first we will do contrast we will increase lift a little bit down but here and go mid tones Yeah, and for highlights we will decrease a little bit so you see harsh light on his face so I will decrease a little bit of highlights I will go into the HDR mode and uh, increase dark area a little bit and this one too the light I will decrease so yeah so this is how I want our footage to look like and now we will move to the saturation part so I want these colors to pop up so we'll move on to it we'll go down here and select all these colors so for red brown work here and for yellows We'll see these greens if I change these yellows. So now move to this view versus saturation. So we'll increase the saturation of each single color. So we'll select all of those and let's increase this color. So you know this will pop up, this color will pop up and for yellow color I will try to like decrease it so it there will be no yellow in the sky and you can see you can see see so these all of the colors become more yellow so i will decrease this color so yellow hue from off this area will be decreased so here this looks fine and for green i will increase a little bit to add a little bit of green area here so yeah our saturation is done i want these colors to be like this and this color is also pretty looking like uh, soil and now i will move to the next part which is our look and we will go into the primary color wheels and for lift i will move it to like a little bit of yellows and for gamma i will increase this so it will give a little bit of warm look to our footage and for shadows i will go between green and blue 
and for gain also I want to increase it a bit towards yellow so give it a little bit of warm look if you want to change more of these colors you can do you can go into this curve section and select each colors separately and make changes according to it like from but here I want to remove that from highlights and so in the shadows I will decrease that uh, a little bit and in the greens I will increase green a little bit in this highlights and decrease it from shadows because it will remove this green from the soil and now for the blues uh, because there is a little bit of haze in the atmosphere or in the mid air so that's why I'm trying to like give it like a muddy look so dense look so I will keep it right here decrease the blues a little bit and then in the shadows uh, yeah on what here and now I, I will add two more nodes which is called bleach effect if you are already know that then it's good otherwise I will show you how you can do that so it what it will do it will increase the color density of your footage when you shoot in analog so the color density is more rather than the digital so it looked very flat image to me so let me uh, do the bleach effect and let me show you so I will add two nodes one right here and other one right here and I will merge them with layer mixer and go into composite mode and choose hard light decrease the saturation of the second one go into this uh, primary color wheels and decrease the saturation so yeah so I want less saturated colors you can increase the saturation if you want saturated colors you can decrease it if you want like less saturated colors. so I will keep it around about 20 so as you can see our shadows are too much so we will go into the contrast and go into HDR mode and increase the shadows a little bit and exploit in these dark areas so yeah and go into the primaries and increase a little and the gamma also so this uh, so these areas will also lit up so they are very dark right now so like that maybe decrease the gain a little bit so if I decrease the saturation to zero it look more of a black and white footage you can see I can show you so if I only enable this, so this will be complete black and white footage and this will be fully saturated. You can see here. So when I enable that, you can see, so this will be combination of color footage and our black and white footage. So we will increase the saturation based on our desired look. This is what I want to have right now. So it's look now there is more depth into this footage rather than the flat image that we have without this composite effect so if i directly connect this one so you can see the flat image we have right now you can see that and if i go here and now there's a more depth into it and uh, now it look like like it's it's a it's a basically a trick to make your footage look like like it's shot on an analog film so you can see a little bit of grain there will also be a little bit of grain in your footage if you use this bleach effect and yeah so uh, there will also uh, whites and blacks completely white and completely black so this bleach effect also does that so yeah this is it uh, if you have any question you can ask me and thanks for being here